Hello, Internet Dwellers, and welcome back to Bit by Block with me, Jeff Bell. We are here, part three of the Clock Tower from Back to the Future build. Um, a little bit has happened off camera, like I promised in the fi in the last episode, not the final episode. We still have many of these to go before we're done. Um, I did a lot of work off camera just to finish up more of the boring stuff. As you can see, I finished up the, the sides in the back. Uh, according to the floor plan and uh, the blueprints, now again, this is where it gets a little goofy. Uh, the uh, the north side, or you know, this side of the building facing that way, uh, does it only had this extra little window right here, and then this little bit of a detail, and then one of these support pillars, uh, which I'm realizing as I'm looking at this right now. There we go. That's better. Uh, and then after that, it just kind of is a repeated texture all the way down. It's a solid flat surface. This is the portion where if you look in the movie, there isn't any detail on it. It's, it doesn't even look like this. Like this is actually where the detail ends. Hello, hello, scary, creepy, vampire, bat type thing. Um, but uh, anyways, uh, this is the part that just has like a little to no texture. I obviously didn't want to leave it, just whatever it is in the movie. So I kind of just faked the continuing design all the way around. And then the same goes for the back. You never see the back. There's not even a back on my floor plans because I don't believe there's a back on the actual Hollywood set. And then again, on this side, it wraps around. Now on this side of the floor plans, on the south side of the elevation is again, where it's a little goofy uh, because it actually does have two uh two rows of this where it is um a kind of duplicated of the windows with those two support beams and okay this is where it gets really really weird for a small little portion through here it's actually um storefronts like on the actual courthouse square uh, floor plans, it may not be like this anymore since the fire that happened at Universal a few years ago. But at one point, these were like facades. These were more city buildings uh, because in the actual location, the road came to about here and then it cuts over in this way. And this is just like a fake facade right here. So they could use this corner as like a corner lot when in reality, it's actually the side of the courthouse. Now, again, I don't want that. So I just duplicated the look there. Um, as well, I also finished, I just threw on a roof, uh, cause like I said, this portion over here, this is the done, this is done. This is the, the, the roof of the building. Uh, the only thing I didn't do was I didn't do this part because this is where our little, uh, peaks going to go for the actual clock itself. So now that we actually have a lot of this built up, this, oh, ah! <laughs> that is what would have happened to doc if he hadn't had a good hold on to that, uh, <laughs> that that lightning cable so anyways um, but this is uh, this is our view and this is actually uh, that's pretty dang good that's about the right height and everything that I would expect from it so but that's where our clock tower is going to go in this episode uh, the only other thing I did uh, as well I, I swapped out these doors because I yes I used the magic wand tool to just make some time of this a little shorter and i have to use an older version of minecraft that does not have our newer doors i just put in a flooring system here with a little bit of lights in here again this is all hollow inside i'm going to leave this hollow unless we really really need an inside of this built but for the time being i don't think we do so here we go here is our courthouse looking pretty dang close to the movie that's that's actually that's really cool i'm very happy with how well this turned out now, this part, this is going to be the part that I'm not entirely so sure about. This is going to take a little bit of uh, messing around and testing to see if we can't get this to work the way we want it to. Now, we have to have a lip here that we can walk across. So I'm debating if we should start and I'm going to use uh, the slabs for the roof because uh, normally what we could, you know, what, what a lot, yeah, because that's a I don't know. That may not be tall enough. We have to wait and see. Um, we could. Uh, a lot of people. A lot of people would use the uh, the staircase, and you would do this pattern back and forth just to kind of get it to build up. Problem is, and you can already see, um, it's a lot steeper. It's a lot, lot steeper. Like a sudden incline up, and we don't want that. Uh, we want more of a gradual incline because this peak is not actually that tall. Uh, it's it's more it's more wide than it is tall. Now. Me just messing with that made me wonder if something like this would look better. 
No, because I don't like how it like. Uh, I, I like the I like the evenness. I like that this is just a steady incline all the way up. We need to figure out what is our middle two blocks. Is it these two right here? Looks like these two right here. Okay, so so all oh, yeah. <laughs> Duh, yeah, could I just use this right here? All right, so this is our center point. So that's is that's that's our middle. Our clock would go pretty much like right. Oh, I just do this. Our clock is pretty much right there. And actually, just to make it a larger clock, we probably will just do that. So that's that's bas that is basically where our clock goes. So knowing that, oh, is this gonna work? Oh, look at that! It worked out perfectly. Yes. Okay, so this roof's not actually gonna be as hard as I thought it was gonna be. That's perfect. That is that is that is actually it's it, that is exactly what I wanted it to do. That is awesome. Well, I'm really excited. Doesn't take much to get me excited, obviously. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, okay, so there we go. So let's just we'll bring this back down. Oops. Don't fall, Marty. Um or dock technically and then boom right there excellent now let's see here i don't have plans of the peak here from the side so we're gonna just kind of you know i think that's okay i really think that if we just go and this is actually going to go a little bit wider than what this, this structure is um just so that way it looks nicer from the sides. So we're gonna go like this, all the way across, there we go. All the way down, I don't need that underside one because there's gonna be uh, bricks here. Oops, with bricks here in a little bit. That's gonna be our next step. Wow, this, <laughs> all right, so this, this, this went a lot faster. I kind of almost expected this to be half the episode. I was just trying to figure out how to put the stupid roof on. No, that's that looks good. That worked out really, really well. Okay, so now what we got to do is if that is the all right. So this is actually going to be oh no, maybe not. That might just oh that might just fill in all the gaps just like I oh look at that. All right, so everything I thought was going to be hard in this episode, nope, not so much. Actually, turned out to be the easiest stuff. So boom there's that and i know this looks goofy from the back side but once i get out front you'll see what we're doing actually let's just look what we're doing right now so we're just filling in that gap with the brick because that is what oh was it was it brick hmm shoot i don't remember if that would have actually been no that's no that that's brick that is brick that's coming through here um i'll look i'll look between episodes and if for some reason that if if, if i'm if my memory serves me wrong uh I've, I've, we probably should talk about this. If, if everybody serves me wrong, I, I will go back and I'll fix that off camera. So, and then I'll, I'll talk about it. Um, I have seen Back to the Future so many times. It, it, I, I couldn't even tell you how many times I've seen it. I've been to almost all of the filming locations, not on an official tour. Like, uh, uh, my, my good friend Joe out in LA, he and I, uh, I went out and visited him and he and I drove to every location ourselves. And, took pictures and so like I, I i haven't been the only set i haven't really been to was i haven't actually i've been to universal um to the back lot not on a tour just been wandering around but haven't been able to i didn't go to the courthouse square it's the one thing granted it's not really dressed like this anymore um but that's the one place i haven't actually been to but I've been to Marty's house, I've been to Doc's mansion, uh, both of them. I've been to you know, where the DeLorean gets destroyed at the end of part three. I've been to, you know, I've been to Strickland's house, I've been to the high school. I've been to, I've been to a, like almost every place except for the clock tower. Um, so what I know these movies by heart. I know like tiny little stupid details, basically. <laughs> uh, details like the fact that, let's see here. We are going to put right here. Where did I put that? That's two away from here. Two, yes. One, two, you. Um, those are the little vents that Doc comes up into from uh, in the movie. And we're gonna we're actually we're actually going to decorate a little bit of the inside of this. This is this is this is just ridiculous. I, I really don't need to be doing this, but this is just the uh, this is just my mind wandering and going. No, you have to fill this in, otherwise uh, it's not going to be accurate. So um, yeah, I don't need those. Those are that's all just empty uh we're gonna do slabs 
because this is the part of the clock tower that doc you do briefly see into uh so we are going to board this off this is where that the staircase would end up coming into if we ended up needing to build that interior staircase for any particular real reason i don't see why but um and then we're probably going to do we're going to do this we're going to come out with the bricks maybe we'll come out with the bricks to about here we'll just make this an extra deep portion I, again this is this is just me adding my own little touch to this i don't really know how far out this uh this peak would have gone in real life but uh basically no i said no go away rain i don't want you um so we're just gonna fill this uh this back part in here so that way it's a nice what did i do did i just have that butting up against that well that looks stupid doesn't it huh I don't actually know how I'm gonna fill, fix this part. Um, yeah, I really don't know how I'm. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with this part. Uh, maybe, maybe I just, maybe I just build this up like this the entire time. That just seems kind of stupid, doesn't it? Look, okay. So here's the hardest part. I don't know how to end the back part of this building. <laughs> the part you're never actually gonna see. The part that's gonna be away from camera. Um, this is the part that I'm struggling with. It's not the actual build, it's not the roof, it's not trying to figure everything else out. Uh, though I'm not really sure how we're gonna build the gargoyles. That's gonna be a little tricky. Um, Cause there are those two gargoyles that surround the clock tower, but I don't know how we're gonna do those. That's, I am, okay, I am actually struggling with something and that's it. So, okay, we're just gonna, we're just gonna do this all the way up, just like that. Yeah, there we go. I don't know why I'm groaning. It's not like this is real. Um, yes. Ah. Ah, yes, okay. So that's what, how this is how we're gonna do. We're just gonna fill this in all the way. Um, no, sorry. So what these are, what these are, this is where Doc comes up from the stairs and he goes like, eh, 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 and then he walks along here. And I do realize this is actually a lot thicker than Doc had to walk, but we need a place for the gargoyles, and then on the outside of the gargoyles is the small little thin ledge, so that's what this is. So let me actually just fill this in very, very quickly, plus that gives us a nice uh, solid structure here. Come on, come on, all the way across, there we go, there we go. So just like that, and then you know, whatever that can be, a gap like that. So, all right, let me just, let's just really quickly fill this in, and then we'll finish building this out. So, yes. Um, I'm in the process of getting the blueprints for the rest of the town square. Uh, I may not have, I, I do have a couple of the uh, little sections of the town square in blueprint already. I might ultimately just end up going off of screenshots for some of them, because some of these blueprints are more or less designed for the, um, Oh, yeah, okay, that was done. Um, more or less designed for the, 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 just the general backlot set, not necessarily a, uh, like, for Back to the Future. So that's where we could have issues with it not exactly looking right. Um, I don't want to put a door up here. I actually kind of want to do these trap doors. But now the question is, because I'm, yeah, I'm not going to be able to put them where I want them to be. Eh. Yeah, okay, so this might just, yeah, we just might have to do that, or, or we actually just put this back there, and we just use it like that. Ah, I wish those were darker. Iron? Nope, <laughs> that is not iron. Fingers, wrong spot. Yeah, I'm playing on the older version. Um, I'm still playing on an older version of the Minecraft, like I said, because of the because of the magic wand tool, just in case I want to go back and use it for anything. Because once I uh, swapped, it removed, like I said, my doors. So I'm just kind of playing on, I'm actually playing on 1.7.10 right now. If it turns out we really, really need something that's in the newer version, then I'll swap back and we just won't be able to use the magic wand tool. Okay, so let us do you and, ah, oh, geez. You know, maybe we won't do black. What if we use gray? Is there like a, 
yeah let's use the darker gray um boy i don't what is that that's stone right what do we have for stone here so we have the cobblestone no what is that that's my monster egg i don't want my monster egg, but i do have my slab maybe we just use <laughs> all right <laughs> okay um hmm what do we have we have oh geez louise there's no way we're gonna be able to build this <laughs> gosh <laughs> and <laughs> that is our oh god that is horrendous um can i can i turn it no i want to i want to you're not gonna let me put it there are you uh, no okay so that's the still <laughs> jeez that looks so horrible <laughs> all right so what this is this is the gargoyle on both sides if i can come up with a better concept i will uh i'll change it later but uh guys and girls i think we have our clock tower i think that's uh that's our clock tower right there yeah you know, i can't do much detail when it comes to the clock because we're using basically a we're using a, a an eight block structure here and it doesn't doesn't really look too fantastic i wonder if we can't just do can i get in here nope nope come on right nope right nope just okay i'm just making it worse now let's see here can i oh just go okay let's just go inside okay uh, i just want to try to make this a little more rounded yeah like that because then by doing this now we have a nice little I'm just doing this so i can get out oh that's too wide um all that work what if we do if we do that oh but see then if i put this one here that's then that's okay maybe not maybe we just put it back the way we had it Ugh. nope you know what it's going to be an extra wide i decided this is where my like just over over attention to detail just starts like irking me because it's like no oh, it's too wide like that's too wide of a, of a circle and i can't put it up higher because i want that gap i, I do because you basically would normally just like eh, and eh, nope no right yeah like you would do something like that but see then it's 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 busting into the roof and i just i don't i don't i don't all right all right there we go guys okay i've, I've decided we're done so there you go there is our clock tower let me rotate around this bad boy so everybody can see it like i said a very simple structure i kind of guessed on the depth it could probably be a little less or a little shallower, but uh, frankly, I think for what we need it to do and be, that's not that bad whatsoever. That looks pretty good, um, especially when we get back here to the distance. Like that, that looks like the clock tower. That looks pretty dang good. I like that. So, all right, um, let me check in how much time we got, and I'll be right back okay we are back we still got a little bit of time we only got halfway through the episode boy i thought that took longer apparently it didn't because we were so amazing on the roof i i will i will one day stop talking about that okay so what we're gonna do now is um we're gonna we're gonna start the start the building out of the the, the we're gonna we're gonna do the we're gonna do the rest of the square and trying to figure out where the roads are going to be and try to figure out what our scale is for all the streets in this map so uh let us let's actually do this can I oops no. <laughs> there we go let us figure out okay so here's here's what I was discussing the fact that, that that the the portion right in front of the clock tower is not a street that is the uh that's the big thing this is not a street and a lot of builds tend to make this be a street what it actually is is it's it's a walkway it's a walking kind of kind of sidewalk that it is mostly paved though um so what we're gonna try to do see the whole thing is like i feel like it would actually just be cement 
but it's going to be a higher cement. When we get out to the road, um, what we're ultimately going to end up doing is we're going to do something along the lines of like, oops, like this. Where is, yes, stone slab. Eh. We're gonna, we're gonna probably end up doing. Ah, oh, we see that. I don't like. The, I don't like the the lines on this. We might have to figure that out. Oh, what I want to do for the actual street is gonna be this. Actually, we might be able to just get away with that and having this gap like that for the curb. Because okay, because the other thing is, is going around the outside of the uh, courthouse square. The entire all the curbs are painted red uh, to signify the. Um, the basically the, the where you can't park is what they is what they did so i want to make the the curbs around there red but at the same time i i do want to differentiate and maybe we just go maybe we go with like a the, the clay if we do uh the street because i want to i want to make a different like a, obviously this is not for uh people basically is what i want to do uh unless we do something like that and we actually dig down two rows and then this becomes, see, I, just, I, oh, I wish I had a slab. I wish I had a gray slab. Mm, yeah, I don't have a clay slab. That'd make life so much simpler. Uh, so, okay, so we'll, we'll figure we'll figure that out when we get there. Um, but for now, the way that I do want this is I do want, unless we, unless I do, no, because this is going to be the same as that grass. I need this all to be the same layer. So, yes. So maybe we do make this be this for now. We make this, I want to make the street, the street is going to be a lower level. That is just, that's, that's, that's going to happen. So for now, uh, the way that this is structured is that uh, the sidewalk, and maybe this is when we do it actually, the sidewalk, which I will be using these for, I always use this for the sidewalk, is going to be wait, wait, three wide. There's a sidewalk that runs right along the side of the building here, so we go all the way down with this. For now, that's fine. We'll obviously extend that later to keep going because the movie theater's back there that we have to build. Um, the only downside is I don't like. Uh, see, I don't. Oh my goodness, I don't like this unless we oh, unless we go back. And then just along the base here, we give it that, just to give it a little bit more of a pillar. I do like the grass. I do, I do kind of like that being up a little bit. Uh, and that's what I was talking about. Like, I like the fact that the street is a little bit lower than the side. And then again, so this is where then the street would be like down here. Let's just let's let's turn all this out so that we can at least get a look at this. Um, it's always good to figure this out now before we get too far into the build. I don't want this to be. Oops, I did not. Well, I probably yeah, actually I probably will. I don't want this to be something that we have to we we start on and then we have to come back and completely change at a later date. See this bottom pillar. <laughs> I don't want that to happen. Um, so uh, we're just gonna we're gonna figure this out now. So this is what I, this is what I'm thinking. So if we do this like that, it's just my completest in me. Um, so then that that becomes our sidewalk, and then this is our road that goes out there. So the other side is going to be like this exact same thing. Maybe I don't do uh, maybe I don't do the red curb, because in order to do the red curb, yeah, because see that's that's almost too low. And I don't, I'd want it to be here. And there's not a red, um, there's obviously not like a red slab for anything. I mean, I guess, I guess there's the brick, isn't there? So what, do I do this? Is this what we put across to signify like the no parking? Uh, see, it's just, it's too wide. I liked, I liked the stair. I liked that half width, but that's too wide. I don't, I would almost rather just it be, the sidewalk and we forget the uh we forget that little detail but uh what i might do though still because this is something else that i like to do for my streets wow just put that way over there i might do this at least and this is just one of those things where it's just this extra little 
tiny detail uh, kind of signifying like a curb like a curb and gutter almost just i know that's not exactly what it would be but it's just a nice little detail and it doesn't prevent you it doesn't like make you jump or bounce or anything like that going on so, um that might actually be what we end up doing let me just so we have our base here this is going to go at least that far over um should actually look to see so there's enough space i'm looking at a screenshot from the movie right now uh, there's enough space for just there's enough space for a car to be parked on that side of the road and then still two cars to go through. I'm assuming there's enough space for two cars on both sides. Now if this is Minecraft logic and a car is three blocks wide, you figure it's it's like a Lego vehicles where it's only two unless we do wide wide. We might do wide wide. Um wide wide you ask? Jeff, what what does that mean? Stop making up words. Um Basically, normally most vehicles in Minecraft are only three blocks wide because you have a single seat in the middle for your passenger seat, and then you go uh, passenger seat, driver's seat. That's what I meant. Doy. Um, but then you go, uh, then you just have enough for a wheel on both sides. So that's kind of like the Lego method of of vehicles. Maybe we go actually, it would be a four wide. So then you would have like a tire. So you have a tire, and then that's your passenger seats, and then a tire. So if we go four wide, technically it could park there, so we could include this. So if we do like one, four, <laughs> yay math! So that's a parked car. So then we would want at least another like that as one direction, and then a uh, space in the middle, and then one another one and then this like that and then this again is where the gutter is like that and then that becomes the sidewalk we do that that's not too bad actually that's pretty decent size for a, for a street that's actually about accurate too that's not bad that's not bad. Okay, I like that. So then that's that basically then we could have we could have a car, a parked car on both sides of the street, and then still enough space in the middle to uh to have two cars passing each other. And again, I'm well aware there's never gonna actually be cars moving, but if we uh if we get to the point where we end up wanting to decorate this set down the line with vehicles, then we could. We have places to put the vehicles themselves. And that's kind of key. Now I do know we probably could fake this and get away with just uh, just a uh, parking spot on one side of the street. So really, there's only uh, really there's only uh, uh, ever one parked car on one side of the street. Like it's like it's no parking on the other side. But I do like the idea of this being just a little bit wider. So then this and this I will definitely do. Uh, I'll definitely do this off camera because this uh, streets are so boring to build. <laughs> I have an entire, I have a city that I've been slowly building on my other creative server that is just, it's fun, but this is when I use the magic wand tool because it's just like, ugh, why are you so boring? So, all right. So then that is, it's not too bad, is it? No, that's about fitting. Oh yeah, geez, for the size of our building, that's, that's totally fitting. So that'll work. And then what did I do? What did I say about rain? No, go away. Um, yeah, right? Because then this was, what is it? It's this, 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 and that. Yes. So that is the Ritz where the center divider line would be. And I probably would just, I probably won't use quartz. I'll use uh, like white clay or something like that, which actually we should probably just put down right now. Yeah, because that doesn't have the, the lines on it. There we go. All right, so that is our street. That'll be interesting. Let's just, uh, so I have a good spot here to build off of in the middle. That's gonna be my duplication point. All right, so if that's the case, so that's our street. Well, I really need to, I need to, I need to do that soon here. Um, okay, so now looking at the, okay, so here I'll, I'll, I'm kind of gonna recreate what I'm looking at right now. So it's a screenshot from the movie of about you know, my depth of my, my my field of view is a little bit wider but it's about this angle 
ish right about there um and this is when uh when when biff's chasing marty around the courthouse square he's just knocked over the couple uh standing in front of the square with all the papers the papers all over the place and biff just came up on this frontage road biff's car sits in the middle there's a divider line right about like right about where that where this is um just it, it's just the it's the pavement crack where they when they laid it so it expands it's the expansion crack um he and he's in his normal car so we've we've, we've established the cars are four wide there looks like there's enough space for two cars on both sides so actually with let's leave one extra gap so one two three four that's my expansion gap one two three four and then that so that is our width all the way down just like this so this is this is the width of this little row not row this little walkway in front of the clock tower which this still works that we're only making it 10 blocks wide instead of uh what did this end up being so that's what is that that's four eight that's 16 17 blocks wide we're only making this 10 blocks wide so again it does signify that it's not a street and by doing it as a different texture like this this will this will help now this road is this little walkway is flush with our grass because coming straight out of the front so because this is our our center point there's a little bit of a walkway that comes to the little like vet sign that then splits off to the two outer corners of the courthouse garden square area so that will be perfect and like i said there's no there's no walkway now there's there's bushes all along here that we will lay down and we will place once we figure out where the center is and all the walkway and how deep to make this uh which i'll, I'll research a lot of that off camera so we know exactly what we're getting ourselves into before i start I try to be prepared to a degree. <laughs> I do like the spontaneity of this and not knowing exactly, like I didn't know how to make the gargoyles. Uh, going into this, I was like, Ugh, I don't know what I'm gonna do for that. But uh, I do like that spontaneity, but at the same time, I wanna make sure that we are prepared to build what we are going to build for the episode before we start. Uh, that's just called professionalism, boys and girls. That's what that is. So, okay, we're gonna put this out like so, just less like that. Ugh, I don't like that repeating texture, that bugs me. Um, so yeah, so okay, so that's our width. That's our sidewalk, or sorry, sidewalk, that's our street. That's our width of our little platform. And this is gonna go all the way down to the other side. Uh, we're not gonna build that right now, but I'm just gonna just mark it out. We're probably running out of time here, so we're just going to uh, wrap things up here in a second. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that should be, yep. So then this will all become our little uh, front walkway area in front of the courthouse. Uh, again, like I said, I will, I'll, I'll actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill that in before next time. And I will at least get the street here uh, copied out and gone, going that way. And then I'll duplicate this on the other side going that way. And then we'll figure out where it crisscrosses. Um, so basically where the corner is down here, where Lou's diner is going to be. And then uh, once we do that, then it'll be it'll be pretty much simple. It'll just be filling it. Then we can start in on the buildings on the side. Um, we'll start with Lou's diner and we'll build around the courthouse that way. And then we'll wrap back around this side. So that will be uh that'll be next time well that'll be the start of next time i should say we're not gonna do all of that in a single episode um we definitely got some landscaping we can do here we can start plopping down trees there's a handful of trees in and surrounding uh the courthouse um that we are definitely going to place down and like i said we're also going to do uh we're going to do some bushes which we will probably end up doing something like this uh, again i'm not going to do this all right now because we're running out of time but it's going to be basically a little trick that I learned from a, another Minecraft builder. This is Corrales' detail stuff that I just, I love this stuff. So we do this, uh, just like this. And then um, on the sides, yeah, yeah, why not? We'll do this. I don't know. We'll, I'll figure out if I like this or not. But then what we got here is now we have like a nice little bushy area and we can do, um, we can do some more sporadically random taller bushes down here you know something like this just to kind of make it look 
a little more full in. But then that way that looks like it's, it's not just sitting on the grass. It's actually sitting on what looks like roots, basically. So we'll do some more stuff like that. And this will be mirrored on the other side of here. So we have like a little grassy area. We'll put a tree in there. There's a tree there. There's a tree over here. Lots of little details that we'll start working on. So, okay. With that, uh, that will be all for today's episode. We will, like I said, next time we come around, I'll have this road finished in front. And I will at least get the roads on both sides done uh, since you know what we're going to do now for it. And we'll take a look at that. And then we'll start on more details around the courthouse square. So I will see you guys next time for part four of this series. Take it easy, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>